Hello, my name is Mariano Luna, and in this short video I'm going to show you how can I render a report that I have in my Jasper server uh, using Visualize.js and actually pass up parameters to it. For this uh, example, I have chosen the customer detail report, which does have a parameter uh, that is the customer ID. Okay, so enough of the server, and let's uh, go into a fiddle so I can show you what we're going to do. So first off, uh, I'm uh, adding my library, so you can see my, my calling from the jfiddle.net side to my Jasper server, which is at localhost, uh, and I have a container where I will be rendering my report. Let's add uh, some text in the container so we can see that appearing as soon as we run the fiddle, and of course that will be replaced by the report. If we look at uh, the second part where I have my JavaScript code, I'm actually authenticating to my server using plain text for, for this sample. We talk about that in the SSO video, so you can check all the other forms of authentications that we have. And when I get my uh, object, my Jasper report client object from Visualize, I'm basically rendering that report. As you can see here, I'm pointing the resource to my customer detail report. I'm telling it to render that in my container, which I have at the top, and I'm using the params option to actually pass programmatically a parameter. In this case, I'm asking for a customer ID number 4021. So when we run this, essentially the thing we're doing is uh, getting that report unit, passing the parameter, uh, the report uh, execution, and having Mary Francis as our customer. So if we change the, of course, the value of the customer ID and we will run our script, we do have uh, the other customer. The idea here is that I'm passing this at the report execution. And of course, you can go ahead and uh, have this programmatically added after the fact. So just to show that example, I will add a button. And I'll be using jQuery to wire that button click. And in this case, since my report already has executed, I don't need to call uh, the report method again. I just can use that report object that I have generated in the previous uh, step and call again params with the new customer. So it will render originated Catherine, and when I click my button, it will actually render uh, as Mary Francis, as we saw at the beginning. That will give you the idea on how you can actually wire different elements of your UI to parameters that exist in a visualization that is coming from Jasper. So with that, uh, I'll let you continue looking at the, the rest of the videos and tutorials we have prepared for Visualize.js. And remember that you can always get the full documentation of the API in uh, jaspersoft.com. Thank you for watching.